A lot was said this 2017 about Venezuela in the news, especially during the months from April to July where daily reports depicted the country as a rouge state facing the wrath of a dictator. Yet, six months and three electoral processes later, not a word has been said about the erroneous reports, or the information given out of context that drastically affected the country's reputation and international name. In Venezuela, the strange dictatorship is gearing up for a new electoral process. On December 10, municipal elections are slated to be held in Venezuela, where 4,800 candidates are aiming for 335 municipal posts. This would be the 24th electoral process in 20 years. No other country in the world has held as many elections as Venezuela. In the Constitution of 1999, the country gave the Electoral Commission the rank of public power, similar to the traditional legislative, judiciary and executive branches. This newfound autonomy allowed the electoral system in Venezuela to strengthen its technical safeguards and be considered by the O's and the Jimmy Carter Center as the best and most audited electoral system in the world. 18 of the 22 opposition parties are participating in the electoral process and all of the recent polls state that there is a high projection of voter turnout. People's spirits are high regarding the economic measures taken to resolve the past difficulties. Over 300,000 public safety officials are deployed to protect the polling stations and guarantee the constitutional right of suffrage as a highly conscious people have decided to not allow imposed illegal sanctions to determine the destiny of the nation. The municipal elections in Venezuela are another grain of sand in the struggle of the Venezuelan people for self-determination and independence. It is a cry to those would-be world leaders to re-examine their actions and the negative consequences they have had over sovereign countries around the world. Like Gujarat elections here, the elections are also a prelude to the 2018 presidential election in Venezuela. They are the political measure of the government's popularity, and directly, the acceptance of the economic measures taken to safeguard the public from the economic and financial blockade certain world powers are subjecting Venezuela to, for the sake of government change. The sovereign will of independent countries is measured in the strength and stability of their democracies. Venezuela is recovering from all of the negative publicity it was victim of during this hard 2017. Its president and people were slandered irresponsibly by opinion makers with no regards to any version other than their own. During this Christmas season, as Venezuela has taken steps to work with friendly countries like India to surpass the illegal unilateral financial sanctions of neighbors to the north, its people are much more optimistic of a successful 2018 of economic development and progress. Venezuela and India are set to celebrate 60 years of bilateral diplomatic relations in 2019. Of these, the last 14 have taken ties to new heights thanks to the visit of President Chavez in 2005 and the beginning of the oil and energy relationship that has led Venezuela to supply own a third of its oil to India. The economic stability of both countries is intertwined and a stable Venezuela is a safe and reliable partner to India and its people. These municipal elections are another step in the correct path towards consolidating that goal. Disclaimer views expressed above are the author's own. From around the web from around the web more from the Times of India recommended by Columbia.